डेयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी पार्ट वन ए वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू डेज लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी पार्ट वन आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर टू डे द लेक्चर ऑन टाइप्स और काइंड ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ द रेक्शन विच इज चोजन फ्रॉम बी एस सी पार्ट वन पेपर थ्री फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम यूनिट फिफ्थ टाइटल्ड एज दैट इज ऑफ केमिकल काइनेटिक्स In our previous lecture, may I have your attention, please, all the students of B.Sc. Part One. The topic I am going to deliver today is very special topic, and which is beneficial in our B.Sc. Part One as well as in various competitive examinations also. The topic I have mentioned on the blackboard here: types of the velocity of the reactions in our previous lecture of chemical kinetics in detail in depth form we have delivered so many kinds of methods to write or formula for various cases for velocity of the reaction four cases case 1 in which for 1 is to 1 we have calculated the value of the formula of velocity of the reaction case 2 was related to that is of n is to m and case 3 was mainly concerned to degree of dissociation and fourth one that is of uh, in terms of partial pressure how will you calculate how will you write down the formula of velocity of the reactions for that is of reactant products in chemical reactions also but today that is i will deliver to you the uh, what are the kinds of velocity of the reactions in chemical kinetics here there are four types of velocity of the reaction here i have listed on black board here initial velocity first one second one that is of average velocity third one that is of instantaneous velocity fourth that is of specific reaction rate which is also known as that is of a rate constant also generally students get confused about the complete or that is a whole velocity of the reactions how many total types kinds of velocity of the reactions students respond two or three but generally i appeal to you i explain there are four types of the velocity of the reactions here let us try to explain one by one first one that is of initial velocity in order to explain the all these various kinds of the reactions in our previous video a plus b is equals to that is of c plus d this one case a plus b is equals to that is of c plus d i choose here a very reversible normal chemical reaction undergoing in which a and b denote as that is of reactant and that is of c and d do not as that is a product here when a graph is plotted here between concentration that is of timing here the kinetic curve one can produce the shape i have mentioned on the blackboard here in which a graph is plotted by considering the concentration as an ordinate i mean to say on that is of y axis while when we take we plot the timings on that is of axis i mean to say on x axis the shape of the curve two types of the curve will be recorded here here first one in which which is process from that is of upward to the downward directions here top to that is the bottom second one k second one curve which is recorded here from that is of origin to that is of it's that is of maximum value peak value from that is the bottom to that is of it's that is of peak value here i mean to say the curve which is reaching which is plotted from top to that is the bottom from maxima to minima is recorded here for that is of reactant here while in the case of the curve which is plotted recorded from that is a minima to uh, origin to that is its maximum point 
is known as food that is the products also so i mean to say these two types of the curve one can plot one can produce four reactant that is a product here now let us define one by one that is of initial velocity A student can confuse in examination write down the short note on initial velocity so students their fundamentals are not clear they define by unknown methods what is the known method what is the theoretical method exact method to define in that is of initial velocity he students will basic part one you have to write down that is of three important postulate three important points here first one that is of the informations the theory the important postulates you have to write down about initial velocity first one the velocity which is undergoing which is processing at t is equals to zero such velocity of the reaction is known as that is of initial velocity initial rate first one the way the velocity which is undergoing at t is equals to zero second one question now raise here that is how what is its value whether it is passes as maximum value minimum value average value what will be the its further the strength of the value so dear students is we know that by the definition of velocity of the reactions in our previous video of chemical kinetics the fundamental in order to explain about its strength regarding the maximum minimum or average value we have to go in backward directions in which velocity of the reaction is directly proportional to that is of concentration here i mean to say when concentration when is divided by that is of timing to give the value of velocity of the reaction here dear student at t is equals to zero to possess its that is of maximum concentration so obviously there is no doubt it will possess the maximum value second point first one at t is equals to zero the velocity of the reaction which is known as initial velocity second one informations it passes that is a maximum third one when we plot we draw a tangent at that is a point x then by the calculation of slope we will determine the value of initial velocity once again i repeat to that is of informations the theory about initial velocity first one here that is of here at is equals to zero the velocity of the reaction is known as as initial velocity i v it possess that is of i mention here that is the maximum value and by drawing a tangent here at the point of x at the point of x to determine the value of velocity of the reactions by calculation of the slope so three important postulates you have to write down on the behalf of graphical points here t is equals to zero to define initial velocity its value one can write maximum third one informations that is its value can be calculated by drawing a tangent at the point of that is of x now let us define here that is of average velocity average velocity you know here when we define in terms of reactant here the concentration of reactant decrease here i mean to say that is of minus dc upon dt and in terms of product the concentration increase plus dc upon dt once again in terms of concentrations for reactants in terms of reactant concentrations all the reactants decrease we use here that is a negative sign while in the case of product it is evident from that is of curve one concentration decreases from maximum to minimum negative sign for reactant 
is used here minus dc upon dt here while in the case of product jump from origin to that is of its peak point from bottom to higher so uh, obviously there is no doubt the concentration of the product increase here and one can write into the form of that is of plus dc upon dt here now question is arises here what is the formula to express of average velocity when we write here in the form of joint form in this one that is of joint form by including negative or that is a positive sign here it will give the value of average velocity the average velocity of chemical kinetics is different from other branches of the science in physics or mathematics in physics in that is a mathematics when a number of a bunch of particles moving in various velocities the sum of various velocities of the number of particles number of that is of various kinds of species when are divided their sum are divided total number of species particles to give the value of average velocity in the case of physical chemistry in the case of chemical kinetics we will define it by two important conditions here including concentration and second one that is of in terms of reactant and that is of product here so i am writing here average velocity is equals to plus minus dc upon that is of dt here now third one that is of instantaneous velocity third one velocity of the reaction defined here that is here let us choose here i choose here that is of 1 mole of n2 reacts thrice mole of h2 to produce twice mole of nh3 i select here suppose we consider here whole that is of chemical reaction is completed when that is of a 5 minutes now we have been asked what is the velocity what is the rate of the uh, of this reaction at t is equals to 2 minutes t is equals to time is 3 minutes or that is a 4 minutes such a position at particular timing to define the velocity of the reaction is known as that is of instantaneous velocity it can be defined in terms of either of reactant or that is of products also by driving two important tangent here i have mentioned on the blackboard here that is of on the blackboard here by driving two important tangent y in respect of that is of product to increase to give the positive value plus dcc upon dt similarly that is of second one minus dc upon dt concentration you know here that is of concentration of the reactant decrease here obviously a negative sign will be used here to in the same sense here by drawing a tangent and its slope one can calculate the value of instantaneous velocity i mean to say any reaction which is uh, completed after a certain period at a particular timings at a particular moment the velocity of that reactant or product to give at t is equals to t timing to give the value of that is of instantaneous velocity here here the important formations and important points on instantaneous velocity at t is equals to zero to define as that is of instantaneous velocity for reactant r for reactant as that is of p for product here and by drawing the tangents to tangent for that is a product at the point of y and at the point of that is of z here for is a instantaneous for reactant product z and that is of y here here dear students these were the three important instantaneous uh, various types of velocity of the reaction here one important informations i deliver i express in the classroom here that is of instantaneous velocity is defined at t is equals to t timing here and initial velocity is to define that t is equals to zero and next important that is of we will deliver here that is of fourth one specific reaction rate uh, velocity of the rate of the reaction here and uh, between 3 and 4 before delivering before expressing velocity of the reactions the factors 
to affect the velocity of the reactions we will deliver that is of tomorrow then we will deliver that is of fourth because it becomes essential to know the fundamental factor affecting velocity of the reactions velocity rate of the reactions tomorrow till then thank you thank you very much